Good morning, YouTube. All right, so time for our next drill. We've, we've talked so far about stroke drill up and down the table. Um, we've talked about uh, our uh, follow and draw shots, soft ones, um, which are going to make up a great portion of what we're going to do when we're shooting pool. Uh, today, I want to show you another drill. This one's going to be stop, also sometimes called stunning the cue ball. Um, now this drill, the, the only difference between stop and stun is how straight you are on your object ball. So if you're dead straight in, the cue ball stops. If you're off center, the cue ball hits and instead of stopping it just drifts off to the side. So it hits and then drifts and hits and drifts. And so we're going to we're going to focus on stop right now because there are a couple different ways to do these shots. So a stop shot, effectively, when you do a stop shot, and I'm going to bring the camera up to the table when we're doing the actual drill, uh, but a stop shot, there are two ways to do this. One is to hit slightly under, uh, and you can see I wasn't dead straight in, um, it drifted off. One way, one way to do a stop shot is to hit slightly below center, and when the distance gets further and further, you, you increase the power of the shot, and you hit it in the same place on the cue ball, just a little bit below center. Um, so if I'm out here, I can do the same stop shot, but I have to hit it harder. And you can see I was a little bit off, so it drifted a little bit, but it was still that same stop stun. And if we're all the way up the table, I have to hit it even, even harder if I want to get that same effect. And I might need my glasses to do this one. We'll try. So again, stopping and stunning. And you see it's drifting further and further away. Okay, so the other way to do this is to keep the speed consistent, or is to keep the speed consistent at all distances and vary how low the cue is on the cue ball. So, and you can see I'm not getting a perfect stop, and the reason I'm not getting a perfect stop is because I'm out of practice, so, which is why we're doing this drill. So now I'm going to hit it at the same speed, but I'm going to hit it lower on the cue ball, almost down to the table. And again, I still get that same stop. So there's two different ways to do this shot. The one we're focused on today is hitting just below center and varying the speed of the shot. Um, of the two, it's actually the harder one to do because you can control it, well, because you, you're trying for a consistent speed stroke. So, to do this drill, we're going to set ourselves up with an angle that gives us a pretty good distance that we can be from the ball. And so the way that we're going to practice this is we're going to use our spots, as always. We're going to put a spot where the object ball is the object ball on the spot. We're going to start about eight inches away. And again, these, these should be in a straight line to the pocket. So if we lay the, lay the cue on them, we should be in a straight line. And we're going to go back, and we're going to go six inches back. About six inches, give or take. Be in a straight line. Okay, see, we're in a nice straight line to the pocket. And we're just going to keep coming back every six inches all the way back until, we're, until we can't do it without being jacked up. We don't want to jack up on this shot, not, not yet. We'll get there, but not, not yet. Right now, we just want to set up different distances. Okay, set as many of these up as you want. Um, now again, we're still following the every, every spot should have 10 correct repetitions. So that's 50 
correct repetitions right there. Um, you want 10 from each spot. Okay, so once again, object ball goes where the object ball goes. And the, op the object of this is to land, is, is to stop the ball within one ball's width around that ball. So we're going to put a spot out here for a perfect stop. Okay, so if I was to hit this and stop perfectly, the cue ball will be right there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to mark that spot or as close as we can get. Okay, if I stop perfectly, I will stop on that red spot. And where I want to be is I want to be within one ball's distance of that red spot. And if you wanted to, you could take it and kind of mark, hey, here's my, uh, here's my area that I want to be in. Well, you could mark it if you could mark. So I want to be inside that. inside that and one more and we don't need to mark the roll forward because we've already got a marker there so we want to be inside these three and you can see they're not perfect but they're close enough all right so the object here is pretty straightforward. Start with the purple dot at the front, shoot it straight in, and stay within this, this area. You can see I obviously rolled out of it. And part of that's because I was, I was a little crooked. <clears throat> Line up on your shot and Again, outside of it. And we really want this, if it does anything, we want it to move off to the sides or backwards. So you don't really want it to roll forward if you're doing a stop shot. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of the stop shot, which is to keep yourself from rolling forward. So the yellow is a little closer than the blues are. Okay, another bad repetition. Okay, let's see if we can get you a good repetition now. That's a good repetition. We're inside the three blues, which means we're within a ball's length of the red. Perfect. Okay, and so just gonna keep repeating this shot over and over until you've got that speed exactly down. This is our shot of the day. And 10 repetitions at each purple dot. Okay, again, still good. You'll notice that when I'm hitting this I am not hitting it all the way at the bottom. I'm doing this through speed control, not through moving the tip lower. So the whole point of this is to keep the tip in about the same place. Yeah, that's gonna be close. Yep, that's good. Did roll forward a little bit, but, but I'm not changing where I'm hitting the cue ball, what I'm changing is the speed of the shot. I'm getting all of these speeds down. And you see there, I actually hit uh, at the same speed I hit a couple of dots forward and it caused the cue ball to roll forward. All I'm trying to do here is to get that nice stop through speed control, not through 
moving the cue around. Again, good repetition. And this is what we're looking for. We're looking for hitting it consistently the same, just below center of the cue ball, and using speed to control the stop, not using the English. Not changing the English. We're using the exact same level of English on each one of these shots, and we're stopping it by controlling how hard we hit it, not by controlling how, not by trying to control the, the tip. So that's the drill for today. And I'll give you a hint, tomorrow's drill, if you want to get a head start on it, is going to be to do the same thing, but do it with consistent speed using the tip, uh, the distance of the tip from the center to drive the stop, not the speed. Okay, so, so the key to this one is we're hitting it one tip below the center and we're varying our speed to get the leaf. The next one, we'll be doing the same thing. I'm just giving you a heads up now. We'll be doing exactly the same thing, exactly the same drill, exactly the same setup. The difference will be that we'll be doing consistent speed and using how far we are from the center to control the stock. So for now, have a great day. If you like these videos, these exercises, these skill drills as I'm calling them, please hit like, subscribe so you can keep up every time I post one, uh, and ding the notifi notification bell so it tells you that I posted one. With that, we'll let you go. Have a great day. Keep practicing.